My name is Rahul Ayer. My name is Darren Barrow. My name is Hunter. My name is Alec Borneman. I am a junior here at Embry Riddle and I am studying UAS. Unmanned aircraft, unmanned aircraft system. UAS, unmanned aircraft system. So far, I've learned the general applications of drones, the fundamental of how they work. And we've gotten to work on aircraft construction. How to build a drone from scratch. So we're getting to build our own drone and we're getting to learn the theory of operations on parts. Including soldering and the programming portion. And then also in that class, we do a lot of time with scan patterns and different techniques for 3D modeling of certain objects. I like the people here, I like the weather. So far about UAS, I learned mostly everything about part 107. Getting part 107 is one of the important factors you have to do as a drone pilot. So in my future with this UAS degree, I see that I can fit in pretty much anywhere. Many companies are using drones to do package delivery and package drop-offs. Medical companies have started to use drones to deliver medicine to remote places that cannot be reached by humans. So I'm a fixed wing major, so I spend a lot of time in the airplanes. What I really want to do with a minor is, heaven forbid I ever lose my pilot medical, I want to go to the airlines more than anybody else, but the future is heading towards unmanned aircraft systems. We've seen the recent leaps in innovation with UAV technology and urban air mobility, and I think one of the realities is that AI and UAV is the future. And so the more you can future-proof yourself, the better off you'll be. This place is a man to study. Future ERAU students should study UAS in Prescott because we have a designated lab where we study the fundamentals and we create our drones. We have an RC field behind us. Class sizes are really small and the teachers care about their students and want them to succeed. We have a UASCO club here, which is so awesome. Like we can get to fly a lot of drones. So we get the hands-on experience. Also we get like a lot of different lectures learning about LiDAR or whether it's learning about search and rescue operation. This is one of the best to be out there.